every horse with a speed of light, the cloud of dust, and the hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. Duncan. I thought he was in the east. He has been. 
Isn't he the president of the New Southern Railroad? <laughs> Don't fool yourself. There'll never be a Southern Railroad. There's been a lot of talk about it. It doesn't matter to you, does it? Oh, not directly. This part of the country needs a railroad, though. It would mean a lot in its development. Well, we'll start for the ranch as soon as you're ready. But, please, it isn't a trick, is it? You will take me back, even if you are an outlaw. Oh, you make plenty big mistakes. I have no money with me, but when we get to the ranch... There's I... no need for that. Here, Silver. Yes, Scout. It's only ten miles along the river. We'll be there in less than an hour. Here, I'll help you into the saddle. <laughs> There's no need for you to come, Tonto. This is as good a place as any for our camp. Well, count or not, no. Me think maybe better we camp close to ranch. You may be right. You ride slow. Me clean up here, Pronto. Catch up with you. All right, Kimosabe. You'll find us on the river trail. Come on, Silver. That's where I tried to cross the river, by the big pine. Wasn't wise of you to be riding alone so late at night. But you must know I, I followed my father. I think he'd tell you the same thing. No, Mrs. Powers would. Never mind Mrs. Powers. The fire's out now. What fire? It was over there on the other side. I could see the men around it. Was your father one of them? I couldn't be sure. That's what I wanted to find out. There were men around. Why didn't they help you? Because I didn't call for help until I thought I was drowning. Did you think you could swim back to shore? At first. And afterwards, you were a long way from the campfire. I wouldn't have... Wouldn't have called for help from those men? Mass men. If you want money, I'll pay you. I promise that you won't get into trouble through helping me. I, I'm grateful after all you did to save my life, but... But I have nothing more to say. Very well. Listen. I hear them. Hoofbeat. Is it the Indian? No, it's someone riding toward us. Quick, can't we cut away from the trail? Why should we? You're wearing a mask, and, and I recognize that horse. He's leading another. That's mine. Please, I don't want to meet that man. Why are you stopping? Well, if he has your horse, why shouldn't you ride it yourself? Well. And he knows you. Oh, it's too late now, anyway. Well, are you all right? Yes, Mr. Powers, I'm fine. But haven't you forgotten something? I'm sorry, Miss Carthage. You aren't Duncan Powers. You're Johnny, aren't you? That's right. Well, I'll be told. Now, don't go for your guns. This man saved my life, and I promised he wouldn't get into trouble. Howdy, mass man. Hello, Johnny. I never was so glad to see anybody in my life. Oh, is there any chance of you sticking around for a few days? Of course. Why, uh, what's wrong? We better talk that over alone. Howdy. Why, it's Tonto. Howdy. Oh. Could you make camp right here? I'll take Miss Carthage up to the ranch and come back. Fine. Will you help me down, mass man? Surely. Well, then. Well, there you are. If you don't mind, Mr. Powers, I'll take my horse and ride back to the ranch by myself. Then you can stay here with your friends. I should have guessed you ran around with outlaws. You watch your talk. What? When you came to stay with us, Ma made me promise to watch out for you every minute. I didn't like the job then, and I don't like it any better now. But you haven't got any more sense than a three-month-old care. Give me those rings. And tonight, sure proved it. Trying to swim this river during the flood. How'd you know I did that? I got eyes. You saw me? Just the same as. You were with those men. Was my father there? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know where your paw is, and I don't care. He shows just about as much sense as you do. All I know is this. You ain't to be trusted by yourself. If I don't ride home with you, mud box my ears, and it'll serve me right, too. Do you remember what I said, Matt Man? There isn't a gentleman in the whole West. Get up there. Oh, I'll see you later, mass man. Get up there. There's Mo and Duncan on the porch. Neil, you all right? Yes, thank you. Just decided to go for a swim, that's all. Down by the river? Yes. Did you get a cause? How did you know she tried that? Now, uh, wait a minute. Before you say anything more, Duncan, I think the girl should be told. I'd rather you did it. Should be told what? My dear, did, uh, did you know that your father slipped away from the house after supper? Yes. I saw him go. I followed him. I wish you'd told us. I didn't tell you because I don't trust you. None of you. Please listen. When we realized the two of you were gone, Duncan and Johnny went to look for you. Johnny found you, and 
Duncan found your father. Found him? He was lying on the bank. Someone had shot him. You don't mean it. No. I'm sorry, my dear. We warned him there were outlaws around. It was you who did it. You're the ones who killed him. What are you saying? Judd. Judd. Please, come inside. Take your hands off me. I heard them arguing this afternoon. Judd wouldn't give your precious son any money for his railroad, and so he killed him. You killed him. But you'll hang for it, do you hear? You'll hang! <laughs> and so, well, I, I guess that's all, Mass Man. Your brother Duncan wanted Judd Cartage to finance the Southern Railroad. That's why he came out here. Took the country over and decided if he wanted to make the investment. That's right. I'm just getting things in order. He traveled all along the proposed route with your brother. And for the past two weeks, he's been staying at your mother's ranch. Yeah. This afternoon, he refused to back the railroad. Tonight, he was killed. Oh, it's awful. You think your brother did it? Uh, no. No, he couldn't have. He denies it, of course. Of course. But nothing could shake the girl. It's like Dunk says. She's hysterical. Have you seen Cartridge's body? Yeah, he was shot in the back. Where was it your brother found him? He said, oh, I mean... Didn't he sound as if he were telling the truth? Sure he did. You know, you know where I met you, Nell? That was right here. Oh, yeah, just not thinking. Well, Dunk found him three or four miles upstream from here. There's a turn in the river. It's wider, but even during flood season, it don't get so awful deep. That's where we're riding, Johnny. You want to come with us? Well, you won't find him. Yes, I know. Your brother took him back to the ranch. But Toro may find something else. Are you with us? Mass Manor. I'm with you to the finish. Look here, Kimosabe. Yes, Toto. You see difference in hoof print? Yes. You notice it, Johnny? Yeah, the other ones are clear. Judd Carthage rode down the bank and into the water over there. When his horse came out of the river here, he wasn't carrying a rider. You figured that he crossed the river and then came back, but he was shot just as he reached this side. That's it, and he was shot from the far bank. He couldn't have been shot from this one. Does that eliminate Dunk? No, he could have been over there. And you sent for the sheriff, haven't you? One of the boys went. He ought to be in a few more hours. Where are Judd's papers? It's the ranch, I suppose. Is there any way we could look through them tonight? I guess so. We gave him a room on the first floor to use as an office. I suppose they're in there. Oh, how about your mother and your brother, Miss Carthage? Are they still up? Maybe not. We can ride to the ranch and see. That's our next move. Do not cross river. Not yet, Toto. I want to look at those papers before the sheriff gets here. Hold on, Silver. Get him up. Get out there. There's a light on the second floor, Johnny. That's Neil's room. Leaving her horses at the corral. She couldn't have heard us ride up. If we're quiet, I don't think anybody will come down. Let's go. This way. I won't light a lamp until we get in there. Here. Just a second now. Now, this is the desk he used. That strong box has been opened. Mm -hmm. And these papers on the desk. Someone's been going through them. Yeah, it looks like it. Might have been Nell. I heard her asking for her father's keys just as I was starting for your king. Look how came the puppy. Up with your hands. Nell. If anyone moves, I shoot. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. Nell Carthage stood in the doorway of the room her father had used as an office. She leveled her gun at the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Johnny. What are you doing in here? Put down that gun, Nell. Answer me. We're trying to find out who killed your father. I know who killed him. It was Duncan Powers, and you three helped him. Put down that gun, Nell. No. No, Johnny. Stay where you are. I said I'd shoot, and I mean it. Let me have it. Please. <laughs> there. That's better. I'll just throw it over on the desk. I hate you. <laughs> wow. That was quite a wallet. But you don't hate me, Neil. You... You always write about everything, aren't you? Oh, take it easy, kid. Oh, oh Johnny, I... I'm all alone. And I'm afraid. Well, uh, I may not amount to much, but I'm standing by you. Against your own brother? I can't believe he did it, Nell, but if it did, then you'll have to pay for it. What's going on down here? Sheriff sure, Cumb. But what's that masked man doing in my house? I think you'd better explain, Johnny. Well, you've heard me talk about him more. He's a friend of yours? He's the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? Remember how I told you about his saving my life in Dark City? Oh. Oh, yes, Johnny. Have you told him what's happened here? He's told me all he can, Mrs. Powers. Now, I wonder if you'll all sit down. We might be able to get this straightened out. There's only one way to do that. Please. Believe me, my dear. If there's anyone who can help us, it's the masked man. We must listen to him. Sit here. Now then, uh, what did Judd Carthage tell you this afternoon, Duncan? I heard him. He refused to put any money into the railroad. Did he? Not exactly. But it amounted to that. He made a condition that was impossible. What was the condition? That if you'd given a controlling interest. I've already sold 60% of the stock. There's only 40% left. Couldn't you have bought back enough to give Carthage the interest he wanted? I refuse to do that. That stock was subscribed by people out here in the West. And that's where the controlling interest belongs. When the Southern and Western is built, it isn't going to be kicked around to Wall Street. Oh, I see. Miss Carthage, did you know that your father was acting for someone else in this deal? Not until tonight. I saw a letter over there. This one? Yes. But what of it? Did you notice there wasn't any signature? There's an initial down at the bottom. Can uh, you think of any letter of the alphabet that looks like that? Well, you know how some people write. It isn't a letter. It's an arrow. Black arrow. And we happen to know what it means. Did your father have a black arrow tattooed on his wrist? I know. You're sure? I'll answer for that. He didn't. Then he was only working as their agent. He may not have known what he was letting himself in for. And now he's found out. What are you talking about? Duncan, I take it you have a franchise and a subsidy from the government. Yes. Work has to start by the first of next year. And no one else can build a railroad over the route you propose if you do start work. That's right. Well, Judd Carthage was given two months to get control of your rights. That two months was up today. How do you know? Another paper I found. Here. Well, that's only a piece of wrapping paper. It has today's date on it. Read what's underneath. Wait. Hard to make out that the last day will be waiting across the river tonight. Do you remember those men you saw around the campfire? Yes. Your father went over and met them just as he was told. He had to admit that he'd failed. They, they let him get across the river again, and then they shot him. Why did they do that? It was only something to do with business. He knew too much. These papers prove it. Please, Miss Carthage. You want them? Yes. I'm going to put them all back in this strong box. The box is going to Washington. To Washington? But not before it catches your father's killer. What's that? He must know that Judd Carthage had papers such as these. He'll try to get them or destroy them. We're lucky he hasn't been here yet. Do you mean to say the murderer will come here tonight? He wouldn't take a chance on waiting longer than that. Doug, it's hard to understand, but somehow I know the masked man's telling the truth. Can you forgive me? That's all right, Neil. Forget it. Hadn't I better call up some of the boys from the bunkhouse and put a guard around the place? We want to catch the killer. We don't want to scare him away. You're going to let him walk right in here? I wonder if he'll try that. He wouldn't dare. He might. After all, we don't know who he is. Uh, gives me the creep. Well, what if he doesn't come for the papers? Are we going to let him get away? We'll wait until morning. By that time, the sheriff should be here. We'll make sure the papers are safe, and then we'll pick up the trail of the killers across the river. Couldn't some of the boys do that now? I'm almost sure their latest trail is on this side. Let's wait until morning, Johnny. Kimakabe. 
Somebody right up off time. Oh, my goodness. Just one horse. We'll see who it is. What time is it now? Uh, four o'clock. It might be the sheriff. I doubt it. I've got an awful feeling. When we open that door, we'll see the killer. I never heard of such nerve. Listen to him knocking. Well, after all, Ma, you... Hello. Good morning. A mask man. Well, it's all right. He's a lone ranger. Who are you? A lone ranger? Say, I've heard an awful lot about you, mask man. Where's that horse you ride? It's silver. Uh, he's down at the corral. I see you're wearing a star. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm Jim Truman. That doesn't mean anything to us. I'm one of Mike Sawyer's deputies. You mean to say that Mike didn't bother to come himself? Didn't sure he'd tell him there'd been a murder? Oh, Mike will be here, ma'am. I don't want to take any responsibility for a murder case. You see, I just happened to meet Shorty on the trail. He told me what had happened, so I figured I'd ride on here and see if there's anything I could do. The sheriff's in town. You can't expect him for another hour or two. Not before it gets light. Well, I can't see where you're going to do us much good, but you might as well come in. Thanks, ma'am. The murdered man had some very valuable papers, and we're expecting the killer to come and get them. Oh. What's the matter? He's an officer of the law, isn't he? Shouldn't he be told, masked men? I don't see why not. Don't be so nervous, Johnny. If you don't look out, you'll get me that way. Oh! What's the matter? We left the box all by itself in the other room. Wait, Mrs. Powers, I have the lamp. But want to make sure a window and room locked. I saw you, Kimosabe. Never mind. It's all right. Right where we left it. So that's where the papers are, huh? Yes. Well, uh, you folks look as if you needed some sleep. You want me to stay here and guard them? That's a suspicious remark. Is it? No, guess it isn't. Uh, was it, masked man? Not very. But you don't understand, Jim. I don't think any of us would be able to sleep tonight. You might just as well settle down here and take things easy. That's a good idea. And just sit down and put out the light. Uh, do we have to do that? We want to give him a chance to get close, Mrs. Powers. Oh. Well, wait till I find a chair. Now you can blow it out now. Uh, just a second. Perhaps you two ladies had better go upstairs. Not me. I'd rather stay here, too. You might be safer. I'll feel a lot safer in the same room with you. Blow out the lamp, Nell. All right. Now, let's be quiet. Quiet as we can. Ma. Ma, Nell and I are going to get married. Be quiet. Didn't you hear the masked man? What was that you said? Yes, Mrs. Powers. Oh, oh Nell, I'm... I'm so glad. When did you decide that? Just now. He just asked me. Well, if Johnny's a rancher, I must tell you, he'd never give it up and you don't like the West. I could learn to like it. And I like Johnny. He's all right. Needs a little taming down, that's all. You can do it. Aren't you going to congratulate me, Dunk? Yes. Now keep quiet. Who's that? Just me, Jim Truman. What are you doing? Just looking out the window here. Do you see anything? No. Nope. Is there any sign of light in the east? The dark as pitch. Oh, good to hear your voice, masked man. You've been so quiet. I didn't know whether you were here or not. He's been quiet like we all should be. Oh, dear. It's nothing, Mrs. Powers. Jim with a match. Did you have to do that, Jim? I was only lighting one of these newfangled cigarettes. Don't you realize they could see that match outside? Such a small light, it wouldn't be noticed. Unless someone were looking for it. What's that? I said I it was such... You. Light that lamp, Johnny. What? Hurry up. You better do as he says. Sure. You're all covered. Stay right where you are. Where's Tom? The killer did come for the papers. Yes, he did, and he'll get them, too. You admit you killed Judd Carthage? What if I do? That's not going to help you any. In just a second, the two boys who are with me will be riding up outside. Are they members of the Black Arrow, too? Still trying to find out more what's good for you, huh? There they are. Yeah, I'm taking this box and I'm handing out the window to them. You should have left the box here until you open the window. It's locked. Remember, you have to keep us covered. Simple enough to drop the box. That gives me a hand free. I didn't think you were smart enough to figure that out, Jim. Oh, you didn't, huh? Think you've got a corner with all the brains in the West? I just wanted to point out that you haven't noticed that... Well, your brains won't do you any good now, see? Grab a hold, boys. Here comes the papers. All right. You got it? Yeah. I'll be with you in a minute. But before I go through this window, masked man, I'm going to put a bullet through every one in this room. <sighs> the last one is yours, mister. The finish of this game is going to be the best part of it. Are you sure you'll have enough to go around? I've got six. That's more than enough. There are only five of us here. Five? Tonto left some time ago. You need first time. That sounds like he has your men covered. Am I right? I'm not looking. I'm going to give it to you the last thing. Oh! 
the drawer. Shot the gun right out of his hand. Get it, Johnny. Right. Did you go outside, Dunk, and give Tonto a hand with those men out there? I sure will. Here's a rope that'll do for this one. Oh, my goodness. I almost told him Tonto was gone. Then I was afraid he'd notice it every second. Oh, I wasn't worried. Well, I was. With that drawer the masked man's got, he could have caught him off guard when he first picked up the box. It was better to wait. Now we have a full confession. We'll turn him over to the sheriff as soon as he gets here. No, Johnny. Tonto and I are leaving at once, and we're taking these men with us to Fort Griggs. To the fort? I can't explain, but they're wanted for more than murder. When the letters go to Washington, these men will go with them. Just as dawn was breaking, the Lone Ranger and Tonto raced across the Great Plains to the east with their prisoners. All day they rode until at last the walls of the old fort could be seen in the sunset glow. Tonto made camp outside while the masked man delivered Jim and his henchmen to the colonel. All right, Sergeant. To the guardhouse with them. On, on. I'm sealing the lock on this box, Colonel. Good. You have the key and you'll send it with your letter. But aren't there any of these papers you can use? The men they mention are all in the east. It's up to Washington to investigate. I see. What are your plans, then? Tonto and I are heading west. Hmm. I wonder. You uh, seem to be worried. I am, masked man. You see, I sent a detail out on a hunting expedition over a week ago. We're badly in need of fresh meat. Yes? So far, I've had no word from them. But I've had another message. Breed Latham is out in that country. Breed Latham and his whole gang. Oh, I see. My men should be warned. But I haven't another scout here at the fort. You sent one with them? Yes, his name is Laramie. But there's no one else who could pick up their trail and find them. Of course, I know your business is... Right now, my business is Breed Latham. I'm on my way. Breed is dangerous. There's no telling how many men there are with him. You can depend on Tonto to find the trail, Colonel. Of my boys, you mean? Yes. <laughs> Let's hope Breed doesn't find it first. Come on, Silver. Adios. Come on, Silver. Hey! Copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.